hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to um, use expanded widget in your flutter application i think it's one of the basic building blocks in building flutter pages uh, where wherever you see rows and columns you would find this expanded so first i'm going to create a simple page without expanded so whatever you see on this emulator is a page without expand without the usage of expanded and then i'm going to use expand and flex and show you how it would align your child elements and give that flexibility so to give you a brief description as to what this expanded is all about um, in flutter whenever you place element it it gets adjusted as per you place the element so it goes like if you're placing it in rows it goes one after the other and either horizontally or vertically now say for example i have three images and i want to play um i want to make sure that the emphasis is on the second image and i want the first and the third image to appear as normal so what i could do is i could add expand feature to the second one and give a flexibility of two and uh, the first and the third image with the flexibility of one so what happens is you are removing that constraint from that second image and giving it a flexibility and then giving a flexibility of one for the first and third image so it's basically removing the constraint and giving it more emphasis on the element that you want so i'm going to show that here today so i'm going to design this page which is basically four containers i would say one two three four five containers the first is the image the text subtext the content and then the icons so we'll start up with the body section here so i'm going to define the row and then inside the row i'm going to give a children widget and inside this i'm gonna give a column and again a children now here your containers are placed so first one is my image container So what I'm going to do is I already have I'm using an image from the network so I'm just going to use the same image so what I've done is I've defined a container and a box decoration to place my network image and then I've used a media query now the reason I'm using a media query is you don't want to keep defining a width to your image so that it is uh, applicable only to a particular device i want to make sure that this is responsive so for that reason i'm making my width as um, i'm giving my width with the media queries so this is my one container next moving on to my second container which is the title so it's gonna be a container with a child and a text now inside this text I just have uh, a title called mindful body fitness so I'm gonna use the same title and I'm gonna add some style which is nothing but a color font size and a font weight these are my attributes for this particular text so this covers my title next moving on to my next container which is the subheading the subheading is the name of the person who wrote this article which is jake jk harper and then i'm giving a font size of 20 and i'm removing the bold and uh, I'm gonna give a gray color here okay 
there you go so we are done with the heading and we are done with the subheading now moving on to the content so i already have my content here so that's also going to be inside a container so again i've used the width factor using media query just to make it responsive and the text and some style so the text color is black with the font size so moving on to my last container it's nothing but it's a row with icons placed one after the other so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to define a container and inside my container i'm going to give a row widget and inside my row i'm going to say children okay in this i'm going to define um individual icons so first i'm going to add a child and i'm using um, font awesome icons here so i'll leave a link in the description as to um, how you could um, use the font icon in your flutter application so font awesome Okay, there you go i got it font awesome icon so the first one that i'm going to use is a twitter icon and then i'm going to give a color and i'm using a custom color so let me pick the custom color here okay And then I'm gonna use a size I see that it's quite small so I'm gonna use a size okay um, yeah the color and then the size okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a padding to it just to ensure that um, the icons are equally I mean they are spaced properly and they do not look overlapping so I'm gonna give a padding uh, and all sides with eight There you go. So let me see if I'm missing. It's a container, and then I have a child. Okay, that should be a child. So it's a row, and then I have a children. Okay, then I have a padding. Okay, it's a caps. It's an uppercase. Okay, and then I have a padding, and inside this I have the style and the font. Okay, there you go. So this is one icon. So I have to find similar icons here. So I'm using a Pinterest, Tumblr, Facebook and Instagram. So I'm just going to paste those icons here in a second. So yeah, I've used a different um, icons here that as mentioned, I've used Pinterest, um, then Tumblr, Facebook. And when you build it, this is what you see. So you see the image, the text, it's getting all placed one below the other but you do not see a proper flexibility given to these child elements now i'm going to give the expanded widget so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the expanded widget here and make sure that this image has some flexibility okay so let's start adding our flexibility and expanded widgets in our app so first let me start with the image so what i'm going to do is first to the image uh, which is the first container yeah this one so this is your yeah this is your image container so in my image container I'm going to surround this with expanded so I'm going to surround this container with expanded and then 
I'm going to give a flex factor of 2. And since this requires on a child, single. Okay, so what I've done is I have surrounded my container inside expanded widget and given a flex value of 2. Now if I do a hot reload, did you see that? It gave a flex value of 2 to this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the other parameters also a few flexible values. Now instead of um, giving a flex value of 2 to this, if I give 1 and um, for my container, uh, I mean the content container, I'm going to give a expanded flex value of 2. So I'm going to surround this with expanded. And then add a flex factor of 2. And I'm going to name this as child. Okay, it's a small. Okay. There's a comma missing. Okay. Now you can see that I have given this head image with a flex value of 1. And I'm giving this content a flex value of 2. Now if you if I do a hot reload you could see that more emphasis is on my body content. There you go. So this takes flex 1 and this takes flex 2 and my icons are just given as per they fall how they, it's been rendered in your parent. So I'm going to give flex factor to all other elements and show you how the output looks. So I've added flex factor to all the container elements here. And um, so what I've done is I've added a flex factor of 2 to the image and um, 2 to the article content and 1 for the icons. So if you look at the output, the, the more uh, flexibility is given to this with 2 and this content too and this one as one. So depending on your requirement, you can change the flexibility value or if you want to emphasize a particular text, you can give more flexibility to it by adding a flex factor. Now I'm going to show you an image where I have not added the flexibility feature and the emulator shows the one with expanded feature. So you could see that if I don't use expanded, look how the text just renders one below the other like a normal row column elements but if i give some flexibility to it you can see the image has got the value of two and the content is with flexible two so this is the way um you could you very um cleverly use the widget expand in your rows and columns while building flutter app so hope you like this video. If you find it informative, please give it a like and subscribe. And thank you so much.